This is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. I've really kind of put doing this video off for far too long. This is the Shoei X11 helmet. This is actually the Elias that I have here in front of me. This is my helmet. You, if the camera is able to pick it up, there's still some bugs and stuff on here. I washed it off a little bit, but I, I have a couple right there. This is absolutely a fantastic helmet, okay? Let me tell you the things that I like about it first. Weight is very reasonable. I put this on the shipping scale before we did the video. Size medium is what I wear, about 3.4 pounds. Very acceptable without a doubt. Lightweight helmet for sure. The things that I like most about this helmet are going to be ventilation, which in my mind, in terms of the premium helmets out there on the market today, the X11 is the benchmark. It's the best. It flows a ton of air. Ventilation is one. The aerodynamics of this helmet are absolutely silly. It is so stable at speed. It doesn't matter if, if you're head checking behind you, if you're in a tuck, if you're hanging way off the bike at speed in a big sweeper. It's just stable and it's just there and it's, it's, it's almost eerie because you just don't notice it. I really like that. That's cool for a track helmet for sure. Even for a street guy, if you're out there with some high speed riding, it's going to be a bonus for sure. Like I said, through the ventilation, it's incredible. It's the best I think there is out there at this point, without a doubt. It's also really quiet, especially for the amount of air that it flows. You know, I wear earplugs and I'm out there on the racetrack. Plugs on in this helmet, it is very, very, very quiet. There's only one high-end race-style helmet I can think of that is quieter than this one. It's only by a tickle, and that would be the Shark RSR2. Um, Great quietness, great ventilation, super stable aerodynamically. Let's just show you some of the benefits and features of this helmet. Let's give you a little 360 here. I know we've got some good pictures on the site, but you know I think the video does it a little more justice in my mind. Side view, back view, show you the interior. Shield mechanism, it's probably one of the best on the market. First. I've got the lock turned on right now. You're going to notice this tab right here. Push down, unlock. I can open it now. Push down one more time. Got a little shield crack. If you've got a little fogging going on when you're riding, you need the shield open, get a little extra air to come in there to keep the shield clear. All you have to do is push down. Once again, you want to lock it. Push up two times. It's locked. That's a nice safety feature for sure. Changing the shield on the Shoei. It's one of the best ones out there. Literally just grab it, push both of these tanks forward. You can see the thing basically jumped right off. It's that hard. Line up the tabs. It's easy to see with a clear screen. A little tougher with a dark one, but still these go in so easy. Even a dark smoke is easy to put on. Close it. Show you that one more time. All the way in the up position. Eric, if you want to pan in here a little bit, your finger really fits in here nicely. Just push forward, so you jump right out. Other side, repeat, same thing. The shield is off the helmet. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side now as we continue to take this apart. Let's go over some of the vents. Right here in the forehead, closed, open. You can basically tune that all you want. It's got like a little friction detent there, so it's going to hold it in place. All the way open, closed. Up here at the top of the helmet, slide it over to my right. Closed. You can tailor the amount of airflow if you want. It's kind of like a you know a friction detent there too. All the way open. Chin vent. Exhaust vents here in the back. All the way up. Closed. All the way down. Open. And there is some detents there to tune it. And you can actually feel these detents as it kind of clicks as you go through. Repeat that on both sides. And then you'll see here, there are some exhaust ports built right into the helmet that are essentially always on. In order for a helmet to flow good air, you have to have the ability to bring the air in and then remove it from the helmet. And that's what the exhaust patches are for. It's very critical you have those. Comes with the breath guard installed. Here is the interior. I'm going to show you how to pull this out, of course. You know, like any of the other high-end helmets out there, it's all the you know, the, the, the super whiz-bang, you know, I could use all kinds of great buzzwords on you right now, the microfiber wicking stuff. Let me just say this, I've worn this helmet quite a bit this year. Very comfortable. 
very effective liner. The liner has not broken down really at all. It broke in a little bit and then it just stayed right where it should. It's offered a great fit. This is a size medium. I wear a size medium in an Arai Corsair. I wear a size medium in the Shark RSR2. I wear a size medium in the Scorpion EXO 400, 700, EXO 1000. KBC, uh, what is the VR1 I believe it is, a medium in that as well. So it fits pretty much every you know, head shape here, you know, the, the standard head shape for North America, which is, you know, kind of an intermediate oval. If you fit into any one of the helmets that I just rattled off well, have no worries. You're going to fit great in the X11 too. Very comfortable, very solid feeling on your head. I like that. Let's show you how the liner comes out. It's removable, washable, replaceable, okay? We've got a couple of snaps on the inside. One, two, three for each cheek pad. And then the neck roll is part of the cheek pad. Pull up. I'm going to show you right here. The snaps on the back. Okay. One, two, three. And then for the neck roll, you can see here, this slides over a retainer pin and locks in place front and back. Okay. Repeat the same process for the other cheek pad. One, two, three. Pull it up around the D-ring strap, grab it from the front, pull it, pull it out. Show you what that looks like with that removed. Let's go ahead and pull the top pad. Two snaps in the back. Come to the front of the helmet here. The top of the eye port. Two, three clips. Out comes the top pad. You can see all the cutaways in here. That allows a lot of the airflow through the helmet. Like I said, super comfortable, high quality, removable, washable, replaceable, excellent wicking material. The slide over covers for the helmet straps also. One snap, pull it right off, you can wash that as well. So essentially you can get the entire interior out of the X11, about that easy, and wash it. Let's get a good look at the EPS here. There are, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six holes in the EPS on each side for a total of 12 that I can see right here through the EPS. Like I said, I've, I've worn just about everything out there. You can imagine the airflow on this thing is absolutely incredible. And it's incredible without being noisy. And it takes a lot of effort research and technology to accomplish that. There's some other helmets out there that I've worn that flow a good amount of air and they are super noisy, almost to being annoying. The X11 does not suffer from that whatsoever.